back by popular demand. I know all of you wanted a part two to this. I fucking know it. Don't even lie. I know. We're back with a part two of Welcome to My Island. I redecorated it a lot. Uh, last time that I showed my island, I said I was about 75% done with it. I don't know why I said that, and I shouldn't have said that because I know better than that, that I'm very indecisive when it comes to decorating. From the last time that you saw my island, for the most part, I did a lot of fucking changes. Only like two parts of my island pretty much stayed the same, but the rest of my island is like completely different. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my island. But this time, it's a five-star island. Oh shit, I don't have the right emoji. Let's just use this one. It's a five-star island. It took me forever to get a five-star rating, mostly because I leave things everywhere on the ground on my island. So for the most part, I pretty much changed the entrance because it felt really constricted and tiny. So yeah, I made it bigger so it's easier to walk around and I added benches because why not? Not only did I pretty much change the layout of my town, I also got a lot of new villagers and I'll show you who I have. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I'm gonna show you anyway. We got Julian, Punchy, Wolfgang, Dottie, Kyle, Marshall, Whitney, Marina, Colton, and Diana. Uh, yeah, they're pretty much all my favorites right now. I'm not gonna tell you about my side characters. <laughs> uh, mostly because I don't wanna get into that. Uh, up here, like I said, I don't really remember what my old island looks like. So if I say, I think this changed, just, just believe me, okay, just believe me. But this is what I have so far. Uh, if you see little things around that say like, I don't know, bus stop or wisteria, it's cause in Animal Crossing New Leaf, there was these two things, the wisteria and the bus stop that I was like in love with. And I hope that there's an update and they bring those back because I will lose my mind if they don't. Also, what's with that? Like half the fucking furniture is gone. You'd expect they'd have like all the old furniture, but. I guess they're gonna update it later and bring it back. It's kinda, hmm. So hopefully I get my bus stop in my wisteria because there's so many fucking bus stops. See, there's one right over here. I'm waiting for the flower arch too, but they're just not fucking coming. Uh, I'm gonna put two flower arches if they ever come back to life right over here. And then I kind of fix this up. I put flowers and shit. Over here is my little selling area. I, my booths? I don't know. You can buy your BTS merch still here. Is it pouring? It was like a light sprinkle and now it's like pouring. Shit. Do I have an umbrella? Oh my god. Yo, it is pouring. This isn't- I'm sorry. I'm excited. This has not happened in my town before. Ugh. Ambiance. My little shopping area. I still have food, vendors, and fucking BTS merch. So, uh, I haven't really decorated my beaches quite yet because I'm waiting for more furniture. Uh, over here is gonna be kind of like an outdoor party spot. I still haven't found things I want to put here. So, let's go down here to this other beach. Uh, I'm just gonna show you, I guess, like the little changes I made. This is gonna be kind of like a drink stand and like a place where you can buy, I don't know, beach stuff. Uh, I put some surfboards. They're gonna be like, quote, for sale. A little hangout spot, I guess. Hello, my queen. Oh my God, it's my other queen. Hi, baby girl. Hi, baby girl. And then I changed this up, the little entrance. I'm kind of upset because the whole color scheme of my town is uh, pink and everything I planted pretty much blooms in spring, so it's like nothing but green right now. <laughs> Imagine these white azaleas and like pink cherry blossom trees, then you'll see my vision. Uh, over here, this neighbor's Marshall. I got him the other day. Ugh, I love my king. Uh, he has a little cafe over here. Uh, it's like a little, I don't know, like an outdoor jazzy area. I think it's cute. And like the inside of his house looks like an actual cafe kind of. So I was like, oh, perfect. It goes well together. Uh, for the most part, the town 
area has stayed the same. I did add a little bit new things, like those seashells. Uh, this is the same, I think. Uh, Hi, Queen. Uh, did I change this? I feel like if anything, I just added all these bushes. I went insane when the update with Leaf finally came. I love plants, like with all my heart. Uh, I changed this, so now you gotta leap. I know it's like super tedious to get to the town hall that way, but like deal with it. I say that as if people are coming to my town. <laughs> I think their yard is the same. I don't think I changed anything. If anything, I added bushes, but uh, I moved Kyle. He doesn't live here anymore. This belongs to Diana. I haven't done her yard yet. I'm getting to that. I just, like I said, I don't, I can't find furniture. <laughs> uh, the museum's here. I mean, I just put two light poles. I don't think anybody cares, but yeah. And then if we go over here, I made kind of like a garden. I'm not gonna keep these thousands of flowers. I'm mostly keeping them here so they could just, I don't know, make hybrids off of each other. I'm just letting them go fucking nuts right now. In the future, I'm probably gonna take them all off the paths and like keep them off on the side like these guys. But yeah, it's like kind of like a little gardeny walk. If you didn't notice, these signs are for my new little hotel. I made a hotel. Yes! That's right, Ami. Omelas. It's a BTS reference. Yeah, it is. Uh, the Omelas Inn. Uh, I decorated it a little, but I kind of don't want to show it off until it's done. So that'll be in some future video when I show off all the inside of my houses. Uh, and then there's going to be a little beach here. I'm probably gonna make this like a little beach that block blocks that belongs to the little to the inn. And uh, yeah, like a little party area. Yeah. I don't know what this will be yet. I just put benches there, but they're getting fucking soaked. I didn't put anything on the beach over there, so I'm not gonna go over there. Uh I definitely changed this area. I love this area. I don't love it the most, but I love this area. I made like a little, I don't know, like a picnic-y area. Isn't it cute? Oh my god, Instagram. Uh, this is a Madoka reference. If you know, you know. I'm just kidding. This is Sayaka. Her little, like, Madoka gemstone. It's so cute. Uh... I accidentally made it when I was trying to do like a little pond and I was like, yo, that looks like Saika's freaking gemstone thing. I want that. So I kept it like that. It's funny, whenever I go up here, like everything freezes because there's so many flowers and I guess the game is trying to like make them all move. So like it's a pretty spot, but I can't go there too often because I get scared that my game is just going to combust. Uh, I made the little forest path different. And I added music too. And I added lanterns. So it's like kind of a Legend of Zelda reference when you're going to the Lost Woods and you gotta like carry a torch and shit. Ambiance. I left an ocarina there still. I think I had it when I showed my island before. But yeah, isn't it cute? I still love this area. This is one of my favorite areas. And up here. We have, I kind of changed it a bit. I added music. Like I love the song Stale Cupcakes so freaking much, dude. Uh, I changed this pretty much with just black, white, and orange flowers. Mostly because they match the color of my dog. So it like goes with the theme. I also added little star shards and stuff and more music. I hid freaking stereos everywhere. And I buried a little doggy paw print and like a food bowl. You know it's a five star island because there's Jacob's ladders. <laughs> I'm not lying, I swear. We're gonna go to one of my favorite spots. I made this at the last minute. Like it took almost an hour that I was just standing in this spot staring and not being, being able to figure out what I wanted to do here. And then I finally came up with this. 
I think it's so cute. It's like, I don't know. I just think it's so cute. I'm so happy with this area, even though it's so simple. Like, it's the little things, you know? And now we're going to go into the farmer area. This is my, I think this might be my favorite area. I added some music to make it kind of like, I don't know, make me think of Harvest Moon more. Because I was like, oh, this sounds like the upbeat music in Harvest Moon when you're running around in the morning. Uh, I changed it up. I put a little shed over here. Uh, I changed this yard. Wolfgang lives here now. I changed this yard and he, uh, he has, I don't know what that is. I forget what that is, but he has that. I think it's wheat. Oh, that's straw. I'm fucking stupid. He has a, he has straw hanging up to dry, but I mean, it's raining. <laughs> this is Punchy's house now. I love what I did with his yard. Even the two little weeds here are like my favorite. <laughs> And then up here, I put Kyle. I originally was planning to keep him in the more like uh, town side of the city, I guess, kind of part of the town. But I was like, nah, I'll put him with the farmers. I moved the camping area and I put it over here because the other area wasn't really convincing me too much. So I moved it here and I added a little cooking area and a hammock and a freaking telescope because why not? And then I moved the table where they have their meetings and stuff and I put it on the beach because I thought that would be a lot more cuter. And they can have barbecue now. Yeah, bitch. Uh, and then if you go up here. Yeah. Yeah. You see what I did? Are you not? Yeah. Yeah. I got this pattern off of new, uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. I used it in my town in that game, and I, I still loved the pattern, so I kept it. <laughs> so I put it here, and then I put a well here, and I guess this is where the- <gasps> Are those black roses? I'm sorry, I, I hold on, I need my black roses, man. Uh, yeah, I changed this area up, and this is mostly just like a kind of like forested water grabbing area, if that makes sense. Uh, this is the only thing on this whole stretch of beach. Just a single towel. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Like I said, the beaches aren't really my priority. I haven't really decorated them, so, yeah. And I changed kind of like the little walkway to get to the castle area. Yeah. I added fountains, and then I added more walls. <laughs> I really hated the fact that you could see the secret quote area from just looking like this up at the sky and you could see like two houses off on the side and i was like uh i need to hide those a bit more because that looks fucking stupid so i added more walls and i changed it up so now you can't see the houses not only did i do that but i was like my antagonists would have a brain to they at least would try to use their brain and they would definitely be the type of people to put fake trees to cover their houses. <laughs> I put a shit ton of fake trees up there, so that way it would be harder to look for their houses. A secret area needs to be secret. Otherwise, what's the point? Uh, like I said, I want bus stops everywhere. But do we have bus stops in fucking New Horizons? No, we don't. So I'm just waiting here. Stand in the rain. And I changed the castle area. I added like mood music and everything. I'm gonna show you that last. Uh, the beach area, I think it stayed the same. It kind of, I came up with this like after I had finished just putting flowers in the two lamps, but I was like, oh shit, this kind of reminds me of Spirited Away. So now I tell people, oh my God, I was inspired by Spirited Away. <laughs> uh, over here, I have, I, I said I was gonna make this like a seasonal area, but I'm a bitch. I am a slut for freaking for flower areas. I just love flowers so much, you guys. Like, you have no idea. And I made just like a little picnic area and I kept the cherry blossom stuff, even though it's not spring anymore, but it's cause I'm in denial and that's gonna stay there. Uh, there's a secret area. You go through here and then you kind of have to maneuver through all these bushes and trees. And then, yeah, more lanterns. This is like the spooky forest. This is like the forbidden forest that if you come and try to go through, you're, you're gonna die. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're gonna fucking die. Uh, I, just did, I buried little surprises. Yeah, 
just to like threaten people in case they go digging up my shit. Uh, I wish that I had more space so I could have made this like bigger so it could take a longer time to get to her house. But it's just that tiny little stretch of land. It hurts my soul, but what can you do? Uh, over here is my other secret area with my antagonists where they hide and they plot. Uh, yeah. But that was the forbidden forest. No one is allowed there because you will fucking die. I'm telling you, you will fucking die. Except for me. I'm the queen. I don't die. And then this is my little, kind of like a courtyard, like the area leading up to my castle. Uh, these are like the guard posts, guard towers, I don't know. I saw someone on Twitter do this where they made like these and they put the, the jail bars and shit. And I was like, yo, those silos look like gates. So I copied them because I'm not creative enough to come up with that. Please imagine this with white azaleas and cherry blossoms. It had way more prettier colors when I did it. <laughs> it feels too green. I need more colors, but there's not enough space to plant flowers. And then my little, this area stayed the same for the most part where I get my mail and shit. And then, if you look up at the sky, more silos, yes! It looks more like a castle now, I, I like to say. I'm gonna toot my own horn. This shit came out nice. It looks like a fucking castle, am I right? I'm right, it's a fucking castle. Isn't that fucking cool? I think it's like the coolest shit ever, dude. I'm so happy with my big castle. Ugh. For the most part, this little area, the like secret royal walkway, whatever the fuck, it stayed the same. I just added bushes and stars. Uh, I put stars there because I didn't know what else to put there. And like, if you look at it from the view of the, of the little picnic area, it looks cute. It kind of looks like a giraffe too. That made me laugh. <laughs> Yeah guys, that was the updated version of my town. Uh, I really like how it's coming out. I'm not gonna say whether I'm like whatever percent done or not because I'm pretty sure at some point I'm gonna change it again. Knowing me, knowing my indecisive ass, knowing my perfectionist ass, I'm gonna look at something and be like, yeah, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe I inspired some idea for, for you guys out there that need a few ideas of your own for your towns. But thank you for coming to look at my town again. Like I said, it's a five star town. Oh my God, like that means anything. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye.